friends, welcome to the Illustrated Faith YouTube channel. My name is Gina and in this video I wanted to share some beginner friendly tips and creative ideas on how to use our special limited edition 12 page print and pray set called Rejoice Always Catherine Aliwego Benefit Bundle. This is a 12 page set that is currently in the shop and will only be available through the end of March, 2024. Before I share some ideas, I just wanted to share the heart behind this set and how it came about. One of the many things we love most about the creative community is how we support one another in times of need. Shauna Noel's mother-in-law, Catherine, the matriarch of their family, was recently diagnosed with a glioblastoma brain tumor. The artist and creative team at Illustrated Faith love Catherine and wanted to raise funds to go towards her treatment plan and to help make her life more comfortable in the direct future. All proceeds from this digital collab kit will be going directly to the Naliwako family. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to share a few additional ways you can support this family and this cause that is incredibly meaningful to us here at Illustrated Faith. Okay, so I wanted to kick this off in my faith art journal. Uh, this is the way I've been journaling for the past three years. I have three of these books and it's something where I like to keep my devotionals and then also any sort of special print and pray set that may come through that I want to make sure that I document for the year. So of course, rejoice always the Catherine Alley Waco bundle had to go in here. Because this is print and pray and I don't have anything else on the page, this can be done in a basic notebook. It can be done directly in your Bible. However you like to use print and pray. I specifically wanted to uh, focus in on Philippians 4, about 4 through 13. So I went to the internet. I printed out a few verses. So that's what you see as the typewritten background. And then I brought in Shauna Noel's set. I brought in Becky Baker's set and Becca Jensen's set. And I just kind of laid them out out all over the page overlapping some of the printables to uh, give it a little bit of the layering look I also printed part of Shauna's set where she has the rejoice in little statements on cardstock so those kind of would pop up off the page a little bit I also went in I printed a few extra of Becky Baker's yellow florals here you see I'm kind of pointing at the statement pieces from Shauna Noel um, just kind of pop them up off the page and then I would say my title for this layout is obviously rejoice in the Lord always again I say rejoice and that is Becky Jensen's lovely handwriting okay so the next page in my art journal I just wanted to share like a page in progress just show you that hey things can be super simple and if you cut them apart you can make them look different so what I did here was I took a picture of Victor and Catherine Nally Waco and I just put some tape around the sides and the bottom to make that little pocket. And then I took some of Shauna Noel's uh, artwork that she put together. I mean, of course I took some of Shauna Noel's. She always makes the coolest things. And I kind of wanted to wrap Victor and Catherine in her florals and her typewriter and her paintbrushes because that is like iconic Shauna Noel. And then over here on the left, all I did was I folded over print and pray from the last page. And then here on the right, I took one of Shauna's paintbrushes and her little mugs with the florals. I laid that down with clear sticker paper and here is one of the other items you can pick up where all the proceeds go to the Nally Waco family. This is a Rejoice sticker. It is currently in our physical shop and it will be linked below. And of course the sweet Shauna Noel made a cute little card to go with it that has Victor and Catherine from their wedding. The physical sticker is on its way to me, but just so you know, it's probably, I'm guessing like one inch by two to three inches. So, okay, next and last page in my art journal, this is just a collage page. So I took some of the brighter sets from the bundle and I just laid them down. I think everything just goes together so nicely. So my focus over here, was Philippians 4, 4 through 7. That is something that Christina Prophet put together. Then I took the little picture that Emily B. Creates created of Catherine, and I laid that next to some of Vanessa Walker's really pretty background like journaling cards. 
the I Believe in God is Good. That is from Kelly Bankset, and I just printed that on clear sticker paper, and I laid that on top of one of Mary's hearts. And then the verses on the page, that is also from Kelly's set. I went in, and I actually created a set for this, so the florals on both sides that are kind of wrapping in with the black leaves, that's my set. I use those as corner pieces. I brought in some beautiful Mary Wongren prize ribbons that say rejoice on them. I have Shona Noel's Amen Bubbles. Then I kind of wrapped it up with some florals and some stars from Andrea Gray's set and a little bit of washi in here. So this is collaging. You could do this in a junk journal. You could do this in a Bible. You could do this in a notebook. You could do this any way you want. So I wanted to share these three pages inside my journal. Now we're gonna jump on over into a couple Bibles. First, for all my friends out there that love the Big Day Spring Bibles, this is a smaller one. This is just the Book of Luke. And I believe this is the easiest, most convenient, and prettiest way to Bible journal, especially if you do not want to cover up the words. So all I did here was I took this little floral bundle, I printed it on sticker paper, I laid it down. Then I took the Jesus is my joy, I laid that on top of a floral bundle with sticker paper. And then I just kind of wrapped some flowers around it and I left some room at the top to come in and journal. So if you are brand new to Bible journaling, this is a great way to start. Okay, so next up we're jumping into a more compact journaling Bible. This is an NLT journaling Bible by Tyndale House. And here's an example of just coming in and putting some words down. So you could do this in a study Bible. You could shrink this down. All I did was with this was I took the rejoice. I cut it apart to kind of fit it above the always. And I've left it blank for me to come in and study or reflect or write a prayer. Okay, so if you are a paper crafter, this is a great set to just pull a bunch of different elements from and make little tags or little layered bundles, I guess you would say. Here I took like six or seven of the different pages from the set and I just laid them down. I stitched them together a little bit. I'm thinking about either bringing it in here and covering up that one side of the Bible that I didn't exactly love my previous uh, Bible journaling, or I may just bring it in and use it as a tip up or a tip down, or I could bring it in and just use it as a layering spot. So always think about paper crafting. It is a great way to use print and pray. Okay, so sticking with the paper crafting theme, I'm jumping into my faith place. This is my war binder. And I decided to take Mary Wongren's page, which is based on 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. And each little heart has part of the verse with the last heart actually having the verse on it. And I just cut this apart into two by twos and I stuck it right in this little happy planner sleeve. So this is a page that you can do many different things with. You could stick it in a notebook. You could put it directly on something in a planner. You could put this in a journal. Really, truly anything you want. I'm going to share a couple other ways to use this as well. Okay, next up, let's take a little mini Bible and make it into a gift Bible. A prayer Bible, a focus Bible, and in this case, I would focus on uh, the word rejoice. What does rejoice mean? What are the verses in the Bible that talk about rejoicing? And ideas for this is just to come in and put in note cards or put in uh, little things that you've made. You could put this in permanently. I've decided not to put it in permanently and everything I'm putting in, I'm sliding in. That way, whoever I gift it to can pull these pieces out and use them in their own journaling. This idea came from a gift word project, gift the word project that we did with Kelly Bangs a while back. And I just love these little compact Bibles and gifting. I think that this is a great gift for anyone that's going through any sort of battle. It could also be an uplifting gift from Mother's Day or Christmas or a friend or anyone that's being introduced to the Bible. You cannot go wrong with sharing what rejoice always means with someone new walking with Christ, as well as how do we rejoice when we're going through something difficult. So um, 
last but not least, here's a little ring book that I'm putting together. I wanted to share this outside of the ring so you could see how you could just use these cards. You could put it in a gift Bible. You could put it in any Bible. You could put it in a happy planner. You could put it in a journal, etc. So you could take these cards and do anything with them. These are four by six cards here on this first card. That is printed on clear sticker paper. All I did was I shrunk down some of the printables and I used some of Kelly's Girls and Christina's Word, My Joy Comes from the Lord with some stars. Here I took Rebecca Jensen's uh, layout, her set, and I just laid that down. I'm showing you the back just to show that I do leave the back side empty so I can come in and write on it. And a great tip for print and pray is to print it in various sizes. So to fit it nicely on these cards, I printed these, I wanna say two per page, and I printed some on cardstock and some on clear sticker paper, just kind of depending on what I wanted to do. Um, now with this, I want to show that if you bring in pop dots or foam tape, you can lift some of the elements up and make it you know, look a little bit different. Here I took uh, Andrea Gray's tickets and I laid those down with some verses on it. Again, I used Christina, my joy comes from the Lord, her little statement there. I took one of my little birdies, I added some stars. Here's a really simple, beautiful card that has Shauna's rejoice in statements along with Becky Baker's florals. Again, this is printed on clear sticker paper. All I did here was I sewed on a little tag from Andrea set. And again, I could put this into a Bible. If I don't put holes in it, I could flip it vertical, put the words vertically and put it in a memory dex. There's lots of ideas with print and pray. This is another one where I just added some foam tape to give this some dimension. I stitched around the edges. If you don't have a sewing machine, just take a little pin and go around and make a stitching, you know, decoration. <laughs> Something I did for a long time. Here's another basic one. You can also take this set and, you know, scripture write all the rejoice always or all the rejoice Bible verses. I'm a big scripture writer. So that could be something you do in a ring. That could be something you do in a planner. So I wanted to leave a few of these in here. These are super simple. Again, I just added stitching. Next up, I started to bring in a little bit of fabric, just a tiny, tiny little bit of fabric. And over there on the side where the holes are, I recommend if you do use fabric on that side, you just kind of want to cut it so the holes will go onto the rings nicely. Here's Mary's set again. And what I did was I laid down her little card and then I brought in another one on top of that and I just cut it apart that way so when I'm bending it, it has a little bit of dimension on it. Um, this is one of my favorites. So I took the little cup that Shauna's friend was holding and I actually cut the flowers that were in it. I put one of her paintbrush florals in it and I put one of my little birds on it. Here is Shauna Noel's typewriter. I cut Christina Prophet's Rejoice. I put that on the typewriter. I brought in Always from Mary set. And then I put a little scallop tag over there on the right from Elaine set. Here's a super simple way to add fabric. Just cut a little piece and put it on either side. Um, I really like that idea. Here is some Vanessa Walker's set. I added a little washi to it and a little fabric on the right side. Here is our beloved society girl. So this girl is in the set. You can print this out as an eight and a half by 11 art print. It is beautiful, but I wanted to shrink her down and put her into my little ring book. I gave her some dimension with some pop dots and I put a little stitching around it and again, some fabric over there on the left. And last but not least, this card will probably be my cover card. Um, there's a picture of Catherine. I'm probably gonna put that in on the cover. But I took Elaine Davis's scallops. I printed on clear sticker paper. I took one of the big Amen bubbles and I put that behind one of Mary's ribbons. And then the wording on it says, her every breath is a prayer rejoicing. And I just think that is so beautiful and such a great way to kind of wrap up the ideas here that I've shared. Okay, so I will share photos um, of all my projects over on my Instagram and probably the Facebook Bible Journaling Group. Both of those links will be below. But before I go, I just want to share a couple other ways that you could uh, be supporting the Nally Waco family. Okay, first up, I wanted to share the Nally Waco family GoFundMe page. Here you can donate directly to the family in support of Victor and Catherine. Next up, we have the fundraiser sticker Rejoice available in the Illustrated Faith shop. And last but not least, of course, we have the Rejoice Always Catherine Nally Waco benefit bundle. This is available through March 31st, 2024. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. All the links for products mentioned will be in the description. 
On behalf of the Illustrated Faith team, I just want to say thank you for supporting the Nally Waco family. May God bless each and every single one of you.